You may have never heard of Quantic Bank until clicking on this video, but I promise there's a lot you're going to like about this unique banking product that offers a ton of account options and even a debit card that you wear on your finger. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one. All right, let's jump right into it. What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So after making a dedicated video on the Quantic Pay Ring a few months ago, I received a lot of questions about the bank account that is behind that product. Now, if you're curious about what the heck a pay ring is, don't worry, we'll touch on that later in today's video. But if you do wanna see a full review, I will link to that down below the like button as well. But first I wanna take a deeper dive into the three checking accounts and three savings accounts that Quantic offers, each of which have progressively more unique features. I also wanna be fully transparent that this video is sponsored by Quantic, but as always, I just wanna share the facts with you and my opinion on those facts, and then help you decide whether or not this is a good financial tool for your life. So if you do want to check out Quantic's different accounts, then I'll link to them down below the like button as well. All right, so let's actually start off with the three savings options and save the checking accounts for later because they are really crazy and you definitely want to hang around for that. On the savings side of things, you have the high yield savings account, a money market account, and certificates of deposit. You can have one of these or all three of them if you want to, and I wanna point out right out of the gates that Quantic is going to give you that sleek online banking experience, but offers many account options that most of the financial technology companies of today do not currently have, like certificates of deposit. So with the standard high yield savings accounts, nothing too crazy here, but they are currently paying over 2% APY, which at the time of recording this video is right near the top of the industry. Plus, this interest is compounded daily, which may not sound like that big of a deal, but when compared to a normal bank account that compounds interest on a monthly basis, this means that Quantic is actually paying you a little bit more in interest. As is the case with all of the products that we're looking at in today's video, the savings account has no monthly service fees and you have access to over 90,000 free to use ATMs, which we'll talk more about with the checking accounts. Now, there is currently a $100 minimum deposit requirement in order to open this account, which is a bit of a bummer, but if you're looking to make this your main banking platform, then more than likely you'll be putting $100 into this account, so it shouldn't be too difficult to hit. Moving Moving on from there, we have the money market and CD accounts, which I realize aren't the most exciting thing in the world, so I promise we will get to those crazy features with the checking accounts in a second. But a money market account is kind of a perfect blend between a checking and savings account, offering a high interest rate, which is currently 2% APY, but still giving you access to the Quantic debit card, as well as paper checks, meaning you can easily access your money like it is a checking account. There there are some balance tiers that can impact the interest rate that you earn on this account, but at the moment, all balance tiers are earning over 2% APY, so something that you will want to keep an eye on going forward. This is also going to have the same $100 minimum deposit requirements, and lastly, before we get to the really exciting stuff, you've got the Certificates of Deposit, also known as a CD. And if you're not familiar with this type of account, this is really just where you lock in your money for a predetermined amount of time time in exchange for a guaranteed rate of return. And typically with a CD, the longer you are willing to keep that money in the account, the higher the return you will earn. So obviously with the savings account paying over 2% APY, a CD would only make sense if you don't need that money for a long time and you're able to get a higher interest rate than what the savings account is paying. But regardless, this is an account option that many of Quantic's competitors do not currently offer. All right, moving away from the savings accounts, let's talk about the three checking account options that they currently offer, which are pretty crazy. And trust me, you definitely wanna stick around for the last account. First up, we've got the high interest checking accounts, and this is the most normal of the three and currently pays 1.1% APY, which obviously isn't as good as the savings account that we just talked about. But let me remind you that this is a checking account and typically checking accounts pay nothing. So getting any interest 
great is really nice. Right now, you have to make at least 10 qualifying debit card point of sale transactions that are $10 or more in order to earn that 1.1% APY. And otherwise, you're looking at just 0.01%. So definitely a bummer, but that's really going to depend on your spending habits and how often you use your debit card. But I know for me, I usually keep a majority of my money in my savings account anyways, because it earns a higher interest rate. So you'll just need to remember to move money from your savings account to your checking accounts if and when you want to spend it in order to reap all of the benefits of Quantic. And again, you've got the same $100 minimum deposit requirements, which is basically the case with all of the Quantic account options. Also, this is a bit random, but I did want to mention that they are also part of the CDFI fund, which as you can see here, offers tailored resources and innovative programs that generate economic growth and opportunities for distressed communities around our nation. And personally, that is a wonderful mission that I can definitely get behind. Next, we've got the cash rewards checking accounts, which you guessed it, is going to pay you cash rewards on all of your eligible purchases. Right now, they are paying 1.5% cash back on all eligible purchases with your Quantic debit card. And remember that this would include your Quantic pay ring. So if you plan on using that really unique product, then those transactions will count here as well. 1.5% back on a debit card is definitely industry leading, but keep in mind that you are giving up the interest rate from the high yield checking account that we just talked about in exchange for that cash back. So you wanna take a look at your spending habits to figure out which account is best for you. Now, before we get to the craziest and most unique account option that Quantic offers, I will mention that all of your money is fully FDIC insured. So again, you have nothing to worry about there. And you also have access to their free network of 90,000 ATMs, which is one of the largest networks of any company in this space. All right, but enough about all of that we have got to talk about the craziest account option from Quantic, and that would be their Bitcoin rewards checking account. I know this stuff isn't rocket science, but this account offers you rewards just like the cashback rewards that we just talked about. But in this case, you earn them in the form of, you guessed it, Bitcoin. This specific account option is only available in a majority of US states and territories, so you will want to check that out to make sure that it is available for you, but they are going to pay you 1.5% on all eligible purchases in Bitcoin at the US dollar value. I know that might sound a little bit confusing, but this works in the exact same way as the cashback rewards checking account that we just talked about, but since the dollar to Bitcoin value is constantly fluctuating, so will the value of the Bitcoin in your account. So you definitely want to be aware of that. You'll also want to keep in mind that while the money in your Bitcoin rewards checking account is going to be FDIC insured, the Bitcoin that is held in this account is not going to be FDIC insured, which is to be expected. And NYDIG does charge a 2% fee if you redeem your Bitcoin for cash. So to simplify this one, you swipe your debit card, earn 1.5% in the form of Bitcoin, and you can then either store your Bitcoin or you can redeem it for US dollars once per month. But if you're going to do that, you're probably better off just going with the cash back option and saving yourself that headache and 2% fee. So lots of account options and features here, and I know it can be a little bit confusing. So which one is right for you? Well, if you want that more mainstream banking experience with a standard checking and savings accounts, then I would go with the high interest checking and high yield savings accounts. If you want the flexibility of a money market account while still earning a higher interest rate, then I would look into the money market accounts. And if you know that you have a lump sum of cash that you won't need for a long time, and you want to earn a slightly higher guaranteed rate of return, then a certificate of deposit is also worth checking out. In my opinion, if you have that high yield savings accounts and you're able to earn over two 2% APY, then personally, I would go for either the cash rewards checking accounts or the Bitcoin rewards checking accounts, since both of those are going to give you that cash back and a rewards option to allow you to make those purchases. And you can simply store a majority of your money in the savings accounts, getting what is really the best of both worlds. Remember that all of these can be integrated with your Quantic Pay Ring, which is literally a debit card that you wear on your finger that I absolutely love. So if you do want to check out the full review that I did on that product, then again, I will link to that down below the like button. 
But regardless of which account combination you decide to go with, I think with the unique account offerings and products, very competitive interest rates, sleek app design, and huge network of 90,000 free to use ATMs, it's gonna check most of the boxes for a consumer who is ready for that fully online banking experience. But as always, that is just my opinion. So I'd love to know what you think of these account options down in the comment section and which account combination you were looking to go with for your Quantic bank account. Again, I want to say a huge thank you to Quantic for sponsoring this video. And if you do want to sign up for a Quantic account, then I will leave a link for that down below as well. As always, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it so much. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.